A winter storm moving north is threatening New York City and the tri-state area with snow on Monday night, potentially ending a 701-day-long snow drought since the city's last major snowstorm in February 2022. New York City has had a record-breaking snow drought since February 13, 2022, when a winter storm brought about 2.6 inches of snow to Manhattan. Since that storm, the city has seen no significant snow accumulation. 2023 officially became New York's least snowy year on record after the NWS recorded only 2.3 inches of snow for the entire year. The previous record was set in 1913, when the city only received 3.4 inches for the year. Earlier this year, forecasters predicted a storm on January 5 might finally end the city's snow drought. The storm did bring some snow accumulation to the northeast, including the Pocono Mountains and parts of the Hudson Valley, but New York City saw little more than a light dusting of less than an inch. A large portion of the country is experiencing severe cold weather this week, which could bring potentially devastating consequences. The Great Plains and parts of the Midwest are under a wind chill warning as temperatures plunge below zero. This includes most of Iowa, where the 2024 Iowa caucus is scheduled to take place this evening. This year's caucus is expected to be the coldest on record, with temperatures in Des Moines recorded at zero degrees. Wind chill from extreme Arctic air in Iowa's capital city could get as low as minus 35 degrees. In the south, the Gulf Coast of Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama was placed under a hard freeze warning. The expected low temperature of 6 degrees is life-threatening to people and animals without shelter, the NWS said, and could damage pipes, irrigation systems and crops across the region. A similar storm hit Texas in 2021, straining the state's power grid and killing a total of 246 people, 